Good morning once again. Well, here we are in the heart of Times Square. Sorry, sorry, like sorry, sorry. I've just got one of these cool phones that one of the girls from Australia got from Soho. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, it connects here. So I'm just on the phone to the voiceover guy who has a message just for you, Dickie. Ah. Take it away. Now, live from Times Square in New York, entertainment with Richard Wilkins. <laughs> Now we're cooking with gas, aren't we, eh? Very good indeed. Hey, today we catch up with Janet Jackson, a lady who had no alternative but to go into the family business, which is, of course, showbiz, as uh, Michael's Dr. Conrad Murray uh, is on trial, of course, which is a, a whole different thing. Janet Jackson is looking forward to a timely trip to Australia. She's the youngest member of the world's most famous showbiz family. And at 45 years of age, Janet Jackson's experienced the highs and lows of life in the spotlight, including, of course, the untimely passing of her brother, Michael. On behalf of my family and myself, thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. We miss him so much. And that song she recorded with Michael still has a role to play in her life. I do a, I guess you would call it a, a virtual duet with uh, my brother Mike, Scream. And I love it. I, I, it's one of my favorite moments in, in the show. It takes me back. It was really representing what he was going through at that time in his life, which was a, a ton of drama and me being the, the little sister that I, the, the, my role, and still my role to this day, and will always be having his back. Janet is, of course, a superstar in her own right. She sold over a hundred million albums. She's also made a mark as an actor. You've been drinking again. What do you want me to do? Get out of my way. And as a movie producer. It's something that I've always wanted to do, so it's a, it's a dream come true. I'm, I'm really excited about it. She's also written a book offering her tips on weight loss. A lot of people would come to me and ask me about weight loss, weight gain. How did I do it? How did I get it off? It's really me, my way of, of, of another way of, of me helping people, which is what I really think my true calling really is. These days, Janet's as busy as ever. She's doing shows around America before heading to Australia for a series of intimate shows. I chose to do this tour up close and personal in a much more intimate setting is because the, this tour is for the fans. It's dedicated to the fans. It's my my way of saying thank you for all of all of your love and all your support throughout all the years and, and how much to show you how much you really mean to me and I'm able to see all the faces. It's different from doing stadiums or, or huge arenas. I can see everyone in, in this intimate setting and I have to say I'm really, really enjoying it a great deal. I'm really, really excited. It's been a long time. And you don't know how much I've thought about you guys and coming back and visiting, and I'm so happy that we're able to come back and give you guys another show. So thank you. Thank you so much for having us back. I can't wait. Yeah, lovely lady, great performer, and her tour kicks off in Perth next Tuesday. All the dates and details are on our website. If you do get the chance to see Janet Jackson in concert, I bet you you will be very, very happy indeed, and you'll be very glad that you went along. She's a great artist.